Hello everyone, in today's Excel Basics lesson, I want to talk to you about two very useful small functions. One is format as table, the other is slicers. Formatting data as a table and adding slicers can enhance pivot table interactivity in Excel. Speaking of tables, many friends familiar with Word know. Word provides a one-click beautify function for tables. That's the table design templates in the design tab. So you may wonder, does Excel also have such a useful function? The answer is of course yes. And not only can Excel beautify tables, it has many more useful tools than Word tables. Okay, if we want to convert this data into this special table format today, there are two ways. The first way is to click format as table in the ribbon. The second way is to switch to the insert tab and click the table button, both ways will automatically detect the current data range size and ask if your current data has headers. I'll just hit OK in the dialog box. And we have completed the initial table setup. Now if I want to beautify the table, I can open the table styles drop down and select a style I like from the menu. The biggest feature of table styles is they provide banded rows designs, which means alternating colors for odd and even rows. If I want to turn off the banded rows look, I can uncheck this option in the ribbon. We can even switch to use banded columns designs instead. You may feel the table styles then provide many color options. So let's switch to the page layout tab and click the colors button. Now we have more color choices. In Excel, we often calculate totals or averages for certain columns. And this can be easily done with the table feature. We can switch back to the table tools tab and check the total row option. Now Excel will calculate the sum for the last column. We can even copy this formula to other columns. Click the total column, move the cursor to the bottom right corner. When the cursor becomes a black cross, drag it left to copy the formula next door. Additionally, we can change the formula for a column. We can click the arrow next to the column and select the function type one want from the menu. For example, average, to calculate the average for the entire column. To add a new row in the table, the operation is also very simple. I can place the cursor in the last cell of the last row, then press the tab key on the keyboard to start entering new data. While entering data, we can also right click and select pick from drop down to avoid manually typing. Adding a new column is just as easy. I'll just type a header like to X price, hit enter, and Excel will apply the same table formatting immediately. I'll create a simple formula here, like entering equals, clicking the price column, then entering by to to get double the price. Then click the enter button, instantly calculate all rows below. To delete this column, I can select it and right click. Choose delete. In a previous video, I introduced how to use filters. Data tables in Excel also have built-in filter capabilities. For example, if I want to find all products categorized as produce, I can directly click the arrow next to category in the menu. Only check agricultural products, then click OK. This immediately finds the matching data. To clear the filter criteria, click the same filter button again and select clear filter from category. When you need to filter across multiple columns in a complex way, you can try Excel slicers. To enable this, click the table and go to the table tools tab and click insert slicers. A dialog box will pop up for you to check columns you want to filter by. For example, here I'll check shop, salesman, and category double quotes. Click OK. Excel will generate corresponding panels. Based on your selections, you can drag these panels to blank areas on the page and use the mouse to adjust their sizes. If there is a lot of data in the panel, you can set multi-column display in the ribbon and use. Panels can also be deleterically. These panels make filtering data convenient. 
you can directly click items you want to see in the panels using your mouse. To show multiple categories, you can hold control and click items of interest. Dot. Of course, we can click other panels too. To apply multiple filters, the three rows currently showing meet the criteria of meat, seafood, and grocery simultaneously. To clear the criteria, just click the clear button in the top right of the panels. Okay, the table features are convenient, but if you no longer need them, you can apply none in the table styles menu. To remove the formatting dot then click convert to range and select yes in the dialog box. This will revert everything back to the initial state. All right. That concludes our introduction to Excel tables today. See you next time. Bye.